should you trust your analytics if you're a social media marketer? Hmm. That's one burning question I'd like to answer tonight. Good evening, Money and Life Movement. This is JJ Ramos, Mr. Money and Life. Welcome again to Random Thoughts. As a social media marketer, should you trust your analytics? For me, the answer is yes. Okay? The answer is yes. Why? Because, well, analytics is your focus. Frontline statistics. Okay? That's what I call it. Front, front, your frontline statistics. It is the first, uh, it's, it's the should be the first set of data you should uh, you should go to when it comes to engagements, views, uh, or or the overall or the overall performance of your post of your posts. Okay, it may not be it may not be a lot. Okay? It may not be a lot. It's not even, but it shouldn't be treated as everything. Okay. The best way to engage, uh, or, or rather, the best way to gauge a post performance is when you actually talk to someone who has either commented, uh, liked, or reacted to that post of yours. So, it's not against the rules to just DM or PM your PM the one that commented uh, about his uh, about his or her comment. That's, that's better feedback actually. You can DM or PM that uh, that particular person about his or her comment and uh, ask them uh, what drove you. Okay? What was your motivation to, to post that kind of a comment? So let's go back to the analytics. Let's go back to the analytics. Let me adjust this. I'm getting spasms already. So, okay, analytics can take you so far as to uh, what you should do next or how should you post next or what or even what your next post should be yeah I think you should trust your analytics okay? for me uh, analytics my uh, the analytics of all my social posts are a very are very important to me especially the ones that the ones that involve my blog right uh, I know when the best time to post is what uh, what are demographics especially the demographics I know uh, from what country is my uh, uh, is my blog uh, being engaged in right also with your analytics you can also you can also plan your content marketing for the next month right or for the next quarter that's one that's one advantage of, of, of trusting your analytics okay and I think about that's about it. So I'll be leaving it up to you, the money and life movement, to give your takes on on this matter. Alright? So the question still stands. Should you trust your analytics? Alright? As you know, if it's a random thought, it's open for discussion. I'll see you in the next episode and thank you for watching.